Was this the wrong move to go so early, given we're told that lockdown should be a last resort? Well, Chris, this is a kick in the guts to all Victorians tonight to hear this. Uh, a Premier that's come out at 4.50 when many schools have already gone home, not giving those kids a chance to get their books. Many businesses have gone home, not telling their employees about what the next day will bring. Many weddings, events and what have you all scheduled for the weekend that have now been cancelled. And quite frankly, Victorians are sick of this. Uh, for the Premier to say we all know the drill, we all know the drill because this has happened now five times. And we've got to have a different version. We've got to have a different alternative. This is not good enough, Chris. Uh, and I really feel for each and every Victorian that now has to suffer the pain of another lockdown and the uncertainty that follows is just simply not good enough from this Premier. Look, the thing here, though, is that uh, Daniel Andrews is going for zero COVID, as every Premier is now around, around the country. Are you opposing this zero COVID strategy or should we start to learn to live with the virus, given that while this Delta strain is more infectious, it is less damaging to our health and given that the where all the fatalities were, where 80% of the fatalities were last year in aged care services, then everybody there has been given the vaccine, given the option, and there's been more than a 90% take-up. Chris, we have had 18 months to learn something from all of this and it appears we've learnt nothing. We're told we've got the best contact tracing that should be able to deal with this. We had two cases this morning and now we find out we're in lockdown. If, if anything we could learn, we could learn a better way of being able to manage things forward. We can't be in a situation where when, we, when effectively someone sneezes, the whole state goes into lockdown. And particularly, you look at many of the regional parts of Victoria that have never seen a case or haven't had a case for months. They're in lockdown tonight as well. It's got to, It's not good enough. There's got to be another approach here. The business confidence is lost. I went to a school today that had 201 kids at the beginning of this year. They've now got 170 and they were growing 10% every year. I said to the principal, where are the kids? Where are the families? They've left the state. They've left to regional Victoria or they've gone overseas. They don't have confidence in staying here in Victoria anymore. It, it simply isn't good enough. You know, we can't live our lives like this. You look at people's mental health, it's absolutely shattered. There, were, there, was, there was a survey the other day that said we've had close to 9% since 2020 of people contemplating committing suicide. We've had a third of people taking um, drugs and alcohol abuse since this virus. Um, we can't live like this. The effects of this is astronomical on our own health, on mental health, on our well-being, and we've got to see a way forward. And, unfortunately, lockdowns are not the answer. Well, this is a bit of a turning point because I've been critical of oppositions around this country, Labor and Liberal, because they've resisted actually criticising the approach and opposing lockdowns. Now you're saying this lockdown should not have been opposed, uh, should, should not have been imposed, I'm sorry. So what are you suggesting? What would be your way, the Victorian opposition's way, of dealing with an outbreak of this size? Look, absolutely, we heard... The Prime Minister say lockdowns should be a last resort. Even the Premier, when he came back from his holidays, said lockdowns should be a last resort. And this is an absolute contradiction that they're not. Uh, we've got to have alternative approaches. Certainly lockdown areas where there is a virus, get the contact tracing up and going, get people, the most people vaccinated, which appears that's what we should be doing at the moment. We've got to learn a way to be able to live with the virus going forward. Um, we need to be looking at different approaches. Now, I'm not saying that we should never have a lockdown, but what we need to do is we need to be able to ensure that you don't, you don't have it as a first resort. People need to understand that there is a bit of a plan. This Premier has no plan in all of this. It's a complete reaction, last minute, and we're all suffering the consequences. We've got to have an alternate way. We've got to have an alternate route, and uh, this is not the option. I think if you, it, when the end of this, if you see the, the consequences of young kids and their mental health and what it's done to them, their lives going forward, the deaths and the, and the fallout of COVID will be far more than the, than the deaths we've had from the virus itself. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't be doing everything we can to reduce the numbers. We must look at this from a health response first and foremost. But, Chris, not a reaction approach like we've had here, not something give people literally... A few hours notice 
And that's what this Premier is all about. We were told last night at midnight that we now need to need masks coming in this morning. You know, everything is last minute with Dan Andrews. It's not good enough. And all Victorians must be feeling pretty sick at the moment because I know I am. We're sick and tired of this. We've had enough and we want to be able to live our lives in some kind of COVID normal going forward. David, thanks so much for joining us.